All right, hello. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In Saint Denis this time, and we're going to go and talk to Angelo Bronte with Dutch and John, I think. We'll go go to this mission right now. Hey, Dutchy boy, John. Haven't seen you guys in a bit. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I yeah. guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This is the place. Yeah, it seems <clears throat> like it. <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. All right, let's see how this goes. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <laughs> you get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> Run along now, boy. <laughs> Take your damn gun. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Oh, he's, he's pointing at, at us. Right, let's go. Don't mind me walking in with like two pistols, a rifle, and uh, Don't repeat worry, up. boys. We come in peace. <laughs> we just and need come to straighten a couple to the of things out with your boss. Does not feel good though, this. Damn, this is a nice house. I'm surprised they just let us in. They did. And there he is. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? Yeah. We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. Yeah. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? Well, you should have taken You ask Jack. me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe oh, in my presence? Go fuck yourself. Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. Yeah. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It yeah. ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. Yeah, indeed. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... We most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. <laughs> He's not wrong there. Teodoro. That is a very stiff woman. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> God, Arthur's filthy, man. So, uh... I should have had a bath. Can my friend have his son? Yeah. Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, should oh, I be out well, of the pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. Oh. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> <laughs> Salute. 
Salute. Well, so be it. The Dutch gets to sit here and have drinks, and we gotta go deal with this shit. As per usual. How you feeling, John? Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, yeah. I guess. Well, Jack will be fine Idiotic. either way. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. Man, yeah, that it is. You did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even Not know really. where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That is true. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be, He'll fine. be fine. Yeah. I and figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack ransom. Yeah, that's For true. All the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Yeah, Jack so he wants much money. Used to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just yes, hope you're that right. That is true. Yeah, well, I gotta say, it's interesting. I actually love hearing John Marston talk. Okay. I think this is it. Like, it's Keep so it weird. Down. Yeah, well, Let's we are here. Horses up ahead. For sure. I remember this was a pain in the ass mission to do when I did it the first time. Oh, I gotta hitch it on the other side. But yeah, it feels so weird. Um. Particularly because I played Red Dead 1 so much as a kid. We should go on foot from here, Yes, Arthur. I know. I'm trying to hitch. So, yeah, it feels weird to hear him talk and not be him. And I remember everyone, when this game came out, everyone was going, oh, you know, why would you want to play, like, not play as John Marston? And even though, ironically, I think Arthur is probably the better character. I think right. we get in trouble. Let's see what's going on in here. It was such a pain in the ass the first time I played it because I just could not Keep find them. Don't want them to bolt on. Yeah, oh, I see one there. Oh, it seems to be like there's one here. It's just a dog. Hey there, boy. You right, doggy? Oh, this is bloody creepy, like, walking around. I guess it's just trying to be sneaky enough so you can hear them. Let's keep looking. Yeah, I feel that. Oh, I hear people here. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Some drunk. What are you doing in oh, here, bro? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. Fair enough. Don't blame you. You should get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. Mm. Think I see something. What do you think you see? Oh, I saw someone run past. Oh, what are we doing? Are we climbing up now? Am I hanging around with you or am I just walking ahead? Oh, I think we've heard someone. Oh, yeah, there he goes again. Hey, John, over here. Yeah, okay, we found him. Right, let's see how this goes. You boys found my tap, he's watching. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Jeez, we got jumps. Oh, you Damn. rats. How many you see? Three, four, or yeah. It's hard to you tell. Mr. Yeah, I know. They're not, um, not stolen from me. Last one's making a run for it. Oh, you rats. Take this. Oh, I remember picking up my shotgun. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it will. Oh my god, you were so lucky I missed that. Yeah, just don't shoot each other. Oh, 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 jump from behind. Oh, no. Get off me. Take this, you rat. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, exactly. I'm fine. Yeah, take this. You hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. You shouldn't have come here. You shouldn't have come here. Shouldn't be stealing from graves. Oh, I'm gonna take that. Yeah. Perfect. That was nice and easy. Bit of fun shooting at in the graveyard. 
Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Yeah, definitely. Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the <laughs> big time. That is true. The irony of that. Come on. Quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Yeah, I'm looking. I think there might be something in here. Oh. Bit of cash. How much we got? Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Yeah, before the cops Damn, come. Damn, lost here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. Damn. We'll have to go back the way we came. Oh, for Damn. fuck's sake. And we can't jump the fence either. Let's go around the side. Yeah, all right. That sounds good. Oh no, they've seen us. Damn, I was expecting there to be one just there. <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of bloody cops. Oh my god. I ain't shooting nobody. That's the one thing I will not do. Is I ain't gonna shoot anybody. Let's go. 30 bucks! Jesus Christ. I can't believe that's gonna bloody cost me 30 bucks for this mission. I think maybe it's the better idea to just let them shoot me. At least if they kill me, I can just start again. Yeah. And this way I'll just sneak out better. Alright, let's go. Yeah, no worries. I follow you, Master, so I don't. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't want to risk getting caught again. I think I rushed it as well. Oh, okay, I'll follow him. I found a body. Looks fresh, still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Uh, indeed, we are. Yeah, I should have followed John the first time. I reckon that was the mistake I made. Stay together. Yeah, all right, sounds good. All right. Yeah, me, yeah. Follow, go, 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 go. Following you, Mr. Master. I think I had that anxiety and I just ran as quick as I could. Oh, be careful. Yeah, I was too anxious. I just <laughs> just ran as quick as I could, even though I should have just been sicky like this. They have to be here somewhere. You try the left, and I'll go straight ahead. All right, let's go. Come on, John. You come on, John. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thought he wasn't gonna come. Oh, let's go. Perfect. On, that was quick. too easy. Let's get back to Dutch. Alright, oh, sweet. Fantastic. That was so much easier than me trying to run out. Alright, let's get this done. Yeah, no worries, John. Sounds good. Hop off here and head on in. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Well, you took your time. <laughs> Where's your host? Hey, it's John. Said, oh, Jack. You took your time. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank Mr. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. Oh, that's good. I'm you glad Jack's what? back. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. Oh. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. I know. Can you imagine that? How we're moving up in the world. How you going, Jack? He's well dressed. And he almost probably would have been better staying with Bronte. New camp set up, Jack. You're going to love it. That he will. All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. No. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. No. And lots of books. Did they? Oh, I would have loved that. You? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Yeah, it is. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, yeah. cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. <laughs> a slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? We did. Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. 
Wait mm. till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's so nice. Okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <laughs> yeah. Be of very clean. And this is the what I was saying is I feel Jack would have had a far better time with Mr. Bronte than uh than with us. And he almost should have just stayed with him. Would have suited his life much better. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Yeah, we got Abigail! it. Abigail! Abigail! <laughs> we got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! <laughs> I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. It's fine. <laughs> Well, fattened up now. Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. That Judge I did. Arthur, thank you. That's thank right. You. And John too. John helped. I got my son back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's <laughs> okay now. Abigail. Can I go play now? <sighs> so. Hey, had a good well, time. We met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. That's all right. Always happy to help. Boys, like that little we head got note. some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. Yeah, in honor of Jack. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. I love the, those four, though. Thank Dutch, you. Hosea, John, and Arthur. <clears throat> That's right. Happy to help. I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Yeah, that too. Oh, jeez, I'm glad that went well. Jeez, we went a bit catchy as well. He's back, all right. <laughs> all right. Let's go spend time with these guys. Hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating? Yeah, we're we'll celebrating. <laughs> oh, this feels good. Good to have you back, kids. We missed you. Hey, how about a song? Javier, play us away. Play us a song, yeah. <laughs> this would be good. No idea what he's saying, but um, something about contraband. Because they all look rather happy with, with Jack. I look at poor Kieran back there and Bill. This is nice though, I'm going to say. Get you out, mate. <laughs> hey, well done. That was a nice little moment. God, how nice was that? <laughs> and off to bed now. All right, let's give this boy a bit of space. Indeed. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. All right, see you, little dude. All right, let you go, Mr. Javier. And uh, <laughs> like everyone, like that does piss off. That's nice though. Nice little moment. Okay, yes, the gang celebrating him back. I got a book for Jack that I can give him that I found. We did it. Well yeah, we did. That's a weight off, all right. Yeah. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If yeah. you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise. Mangoes would be delicious. Spoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur. Have a little faith. Hey, I got plenty of faith. But yeah, we got um got a book for him that I found uh, in between episodes. Well, not in between episodes, but so. during last episode. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. 
I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? <laughs> yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. Uh, but uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. Oh, <laughs> and I damn. got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Jeez, how lucky was that? Oh, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> <laughs> As you would be. Fair enough. <laughs> God. Anyway, I like moments like that though. They rather good. Hey, Jack. Good to have you back. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. Gonna see a smile on your mama's face again. Well, yeah, that's good. Good on. to have him back. Uh -huh. Loitering suspiciously as usual. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Well, very kind. You part of that moment? Well, you mean like a normal family? <laughs> Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. Take this fella for one. Yeah. Man don't that. just change like the wind, Abigail. I thought you'd have known that by now. No, Arthur. Some folks change. And others is just too dumb. Oh, I ruined a good moment there. All right. Well, I'm gonna go to bed and uh, wake up in the morning. I think you can get absolutely smashed. I feel bad for ruining Come their little on moment. Now, Jack. Time for bed. I like that they got routines to go to bed and stuff. That's pretty, pretty good. I think if I ever did play this game again, I definitely would uh, hang around in those moments a little bit more. Because I don't think I did it the first time, unfortunately. I kind of just skipped through them. And even for this playthrough, I'll kind of breeze through them rather quickly. Definitely if I ever play this game a third time, I'll definitely hang around in them. But they are, they are pretty good. And they do feel nice to be a part of. Oh, we've got a note here, which is nice. What does this note say? Or let up. My dear Arthur, I hope oh, this letter Mary. finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. Jeez, that was, he and that's Daddy right. are still arguing, but Fair while ago, though. I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Oh, fantastic. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. From the Chelonia oh, cult. I have made such a mess of my life time and again. That Why is true. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies uh, that shroud man. your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Well, I wasn't expecting that. But um, I was expecting at some point to hear from her. So um, we'll definitely have to go and talk to her. Though I do want to go downstairs really quickly and have a chat with the rest of these guys, see what they're up to. Every time, Uncle. Oh, <laughs> did I trip over him by accident? I didn't even see him. Get up. Oh, good to see the dog's hey, still with us. That's good. Come here. What are you doing, boy? Well, I'm glad the dog's still hanging around with us, which is nice. Like, I <laughs> kind of thought we would have let him go. All right, well, I'm going to go over into St. Teddy to see Mary, catch up with her, see what she needs, because uh, I think it would be good to do it right after we saw that letter than rather doing it in a different episode let's keep it fairly consistent all right here arthur! we are to find arthur! mary where are you up here oh jeez didn't even see yeah. you okay so uh what do you need wait there i'm coming straight down all right sounds good what are you guys looking at <laughs> my own business i haven't seen mary in a long time man <laughs> Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. That I did. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. 
I'm begging you, Arthur. Ah, oh, because he I thought it was for you. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than 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 me. Yeah. Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? Yeah. With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Yeah. Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Oh, you're Please. a user. I'm sorry. I you feel bad for Arthur, man. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. No, no. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. Yeah, all the time. Uh, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Yeah, why not? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. <laughs> Nothing's been beneath me. Gambling and drinking and, and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. <laughs> Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should no. I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, oh. I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Yeah, because oh, I suffer Arthur, as well. I should have ran away with you years ago. You still well, you can. Wouldn't. No, I didn't. But, well, what if? I don't know. And I wonder if Mary was the one that Arthur had a kid with. No, no, I got some bottle so for that. Nice. Think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. <laughs> Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Yeah, and he'll get off scot free. All right, here we are. Let's have a look for him. This is see the what place. he's up to. Yeah, let's see what he's up to. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very <laughs> funny. You can't stand there. No, oh, here we go. What, in the street? <laughs> yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Mind your own business, Why? kid. I said, just get out of here. <laughs> Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. <laughs> but if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. <laughs> apology accepted. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Uh -huh. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He never stopped. He's up to no good. We better follow him. All right. Okay. 
Let's see what he gets up to. Ah, I guess I can't f can't go too quickly. This way. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. I just don't want to run after him because he'll he'll see me. He reminds me of Uncle a fair bit with how drunk he is. He went around the corner. Oh shit! Not that far behind him. Watch out! He went behind that pole. <laughs> Wait, oh, he's chugging. Arthur. Any closer and he'll spot us. All right, let's go back up a bit. We'll just follow the smell. <laughs> yeah. Arthur, come on. He just missed between those crates. Really? It's not like he's running, you know. Come here, <laughs> quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! <laughs> it's always old. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. <laughs> you could have cleaned yourself up a bit. Oh. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. I look pretty dapper. Did put pomade in my hair and I shaved. Looking nice and clean. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Yeah, taking care of business. I wonder where he's going though. And how can he be so drunk that you just like wander around? He's gonna attack us. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals he's trying to sell something so Ashton you got the money seems he's selling something have you got the brooch Mr. Gillis yes yeah I uh, sell off the brooch here's the money <laughs> mm, that is beautiful it's a family heirloom that was That's mother's brooch years. not any longer Mr. Gillis Enjoy the money, and should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself oh, killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, uh. I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, yeah. how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Yeah. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Not gonna hurt anyone. I'm gonna buy it off him. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, I'm not gonna kill nobody. I'm gonna go buy it off you from that distinguished hey, gentleman. You, Ashton, hold her right there. No, oh, don't run. Please don't run. God damn it. Oh my god, where's my horse when I need him? Come on, horsey. Jeez, I need my horse quick. Stop that coach. I just need my horse. Come on, horse. I didn't want to steal that random horse that was there. Come on, Mr. Horsey. Come on. Why are you sitting there? I like need you right now. I like you. Lucky this horse is fast, I'm gonna say. Like I said, I didn't want to steal that random horse that was just sitting there. You hear me? Stop that damn coach. Get back here. I'm trying to be nice and telling you to stop. I wonder if I can shoot the wheels off. I'm trying to be nice and get you guys to stop normally. Alright, I'll do this then. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I told you to stop. And he's gonna jump. Oh my god. Oh, I've got him in here. Nice. Fantastic. You're making a big mistake. No mistake here. I told you to stop. You can't do this! I'll do whatever I damn please, boy. I bought that brooch fair and square! You did! I just wanted to buy it back. Get out of here, boy. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Oh, I take it. Another bloody hundred dollars. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Well, I just did. You know what? I'll set these horses free as well while I'm at it. These poor things. Can I cut them free? I don't think I can. Oh well. Anyway, let's get back to Mary. Okay, cool. We're gonna go into a cutscene. Thank God. 
I didn't want to ride all the way back myself. Thank you, game designer. Thank you, Rockstar, for doing that. You saved me a bit of time. Hey, Mary. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. <laughs> hey, I paid for it. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Sure. We'll go go watch the theater. theater. Me? Sure, why not? Uh, it'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the... <laughs> Normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're yeah. an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. Yeah, if no. I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Oh. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so... Shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, no. look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. <laughs> Come on, let's go find our seats. Well, we have been here before to watch. Uh, How about uh, here on the right? Sure. After you. Well, it'd be funny if it was Ma not Margaret, the other one, the trio of Magnifico and uh, Bert Bertlum, whatever the big dude's name was. I'll right, we'll watch one show and see how this goes. Yeah, I know. Just think of the same thing. Ever assembled. Prepare for a lot the of talking and not a lot of action. Of your curiosity, full of canned goods. Oh my God! Hurry up and get to it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Kaminsky. About bloody time, my God! Professional yapper, that is. Okay, so they're a musical performance. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we oh all love. Oh my God. Called Sam Dunne. Don't need to talk. Just need to sing. They come from Road Strawberry and Valentine, singing a song and drinking wine across by your swamp and oh, over the sea. That's pretty good. It is pretty good. That's good. Sam Dunne. If your wagon is broke, it's pretty good singer. Blacksmith shop. Don't worry yourself with planting a crop. The girls are wearing a brand new gown. Alright, cool. I don't know if I should skip this or keep going. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. Oh, okay, sure. If you want. Reckon we've seen the best of it. Yeah. I uh, can't be bothered sitting there <laughs> for much longer. <laughs> Alright, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. It was nice. I think if I ever play this game again, I'll happily sit through it all. Wasn't supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? No, it's never too late. It was just you. I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I. If anyone. Close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me. 
Arthur, run away right yeah. now and don't look back. I wish I could. I want to. More than anything I want to. But I gotta but say I've this got third. Some people I need to take care of. Yeah. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. Yeah. But Arthur. John, run Jack. Away anywhere we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. I had some. Then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. <sighs> that would be nice. God, this just frustrates me so much. Like, I really wish Arthur could just leave. Sorry, Mary. But I just think poor John, Abigail, and uh, Jack. I can't leave them. They're good people. And Hosea and Lenny and so many of them that are still good people. It's just, it's just Micah, you know. It's Micah and Dutch and yeah, I feel you there, Arthur. Anyway, I think I might call it an end to this episode. It kind of made me feel a bit sad there. I wish Arthur could leave. But yeah, like you said, it's all coming to an end and it'll end rather quickly, I reckon. So, but yeah, well, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, adios.